Hi, in this video we're going to be sharing with you some proven tips on the best ways to fast track and grow a profitable property portfolio. Indeed, we'll show you some actionable tips on how to overcome challenges and most importantly show you why this is something we think is worth doing. I've consistently grown a profitable property portfolio over the last two decades. Adam's doing the same thing now. There's no magic silver bullet, it's just a series of small things and that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Jess. I'm Adam. And we're landlords as well as letting agents. We're managing and growing our own portfolios as well as those for uh, our clients as the lettings business. Um, we make videos like these to be helpful to landlords like you. Hopefully you'll find it useful and uh, we want you to be successful, earn more, have less hassle and get your time Indeed. back. So, so recently we hosted a, a live webinar uh, for some um, inner circle members of For The Landlords, that they, they've joined For The Landlords. Um, it's something we do often, just be helpful, we like to be helpful. Free um, as well. It's free. In, in the audience there was a mixture of experienced landlords and beginners and also people who hadn't even bought their first property yet. They all had one thing in common, they were feeling a little bit frustrated, they'd signed up to this webinar so they were feeling a little bit frustrated uh, with how slow their property portfolio was growing. Some were yep. struggling, struggling to get it going, some were struggling to get it going fast enough, um, all sorts of different situations but uh, yeah, one thing in common, they'd asked for some proven techniques to grow the property portfolio. What was identifying what was holding people back and then the barriers and give us some tips. So um, Adam and I, we thought about the questions yep. uh, before the before it and there were essentially four, um, four key points, four key points <clears throat> that we had to make. Uh, and we've broken it up for you today now into four videos. So here's what Adam and I had to say to our live audience. We'll cut to that now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, number one, mm. right now. invest with a plan, plan. with uh, a goal, mm. and with focus. most importantly, yeah, focus. So follow one course until success. Focus. So often you will hear people. You, you'll hear Adam speaks to landlords more than me. So if you don't know our business, forlandlords.com, we're a letting agent with the UK's number one property sourcer. So we speak to landlords all the time. Some landlords come to us, they've got a portfolio already and they want to optimise it, grow it, or just you know, make sure it's got no hassle so they can sail off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. Some are want to be landlords, maybe they've got successful business or they earn some money somewhere and they want to become a landlord. And uh, how do we, they've got no clue how to do it and they come to Adam. So Adam gets all these conversations going with landlords. Indeed, and I well, that is what I do. I um, create a plan for a client, might be, five houses in two years mm -hmm. and we'll go and source those five houses across that two year period and if, if they need a renovation we'll manage that and then we manage the letting of it so um, we the first thing I do with someone after they've sat down with me is create a plan yep. um, and make sure that we focus on it and you know don't yeah. stray from it because yep. we've we've created a goal so what I was going to say was and I've heard these conversations the amount of landlords, I've also had these conversations, you know, like um, people now, t they talk to me about property, you know, find out what you do and they want to talk to you about property. Oh God, yeah. If you're not a, um, a landlord already or you start people to talk to you, the amount of people who have a desire or express desire to become a landlord to buy houses, but have got no clue how to do it, but still go ahead and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. This sounds like a good idea. I thought this, so I did. Um, there was a house that... Can you remember we spoke, you were sat across from me, I was doing a Zoom call, <clears throat> and there was a chap who bought a house at an auction and told me he'd just been to meet the builders that week and they were pricing up the renovation works. Yeah. Um, and he's still waiting to find out the price and he thinks there might be some extra bits he didn't realise. Yeah. And he owns the house already. He owns the house already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got to do all of that before you even know um, what you're going to pay for the house. I would say he's, yeah. he's probably a little bit ahead of most people. Most people are, oh, I saw this house, or this, this my mum and dad used to live in this house, so I bought it, and, yeah. or, you know, or, or rented it out. Yeah, just, yeah. just completely, you know. Uh, I've had conversations with landlords who, um, it, was, it was a barn at the end of their garden, true story, a barn at the end of the garden, so they got planning permission, 
so then they built it, so then they rented it out. So mm. That is not the right build. I mean, it could have been a great opportunity to buy it, do it, and flip it on, but it's not a rental house because it's worth sure. one and a half million quid. I mean, this yeah, is yeah. just literally, this is just random stuff happening. So when I talk about having a plan and focus, um, it's not this looks like a good idea, that'll do, I'll see how it goes, <laughs> I'll buy a house that looks like mine. It's actually, and, and by the way, most landlords are accidental. Most landlords aren't particularly successful. We bang on about being a successful landlord all the time. Um, sometimes we say, oh, you, 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 you're saying it's easy. We're not saying it's yeah, easy. Because I think... Not we, easy. It, 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 there's ways to make it you're easier. You're either a landlord or you're a property investor. <clears throat> yeah. I think... And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think I think every property investor, you're, talking, you're saying property investors, somebody who's looking at it with a... Professional. Professional. Yeah. I, I, I always think that any property investor needs to be a good landlord. You, you, yeah, yeah. Property investor is the next step, but you don't leave behind the fact that you exactly. are a landlord. You've got these yeah. responsibilities yeah. and those, those kind of things. Um, your plan needs to come from a place of knowledge, confidence, and no guesswork. Um, if you've got a plan, you've got to scrutinise it and say, mm. will it work? And having that confidence to say, you know, um, if you want £10,000 a month income, um, you've got £200,000 um, sat in the pot, but every house that you're going to buy is going to make you £100 a month. It's just not going to work. It's like, you, sure. you write all this stuff down. You, you've got to force yourself. Are you, are you living in Kalkuku land or is this going to work? Do you need to find a new area to buy? Do you need to find a new type of house? Um, it's not as easy as it looks, but it's not as hard as you might fear. Most definitely. So yeah, yeah. that £200,000 can become £10,000 a month. Uh, it'll take hard work, effort. You've got to do a lot of things right. You make it a lot easier if you had £400,000. Yeah. Uh, you, you make it a lot quicker. Your, your cash pot dictates how mm. much money you can generate and the speed you can generate it in. Yeah. Um, don't fall for the no money down education courses that can get you from naught to 100 grand a year in no time at all because that's yeah. nonsense um but yeah that 200k can be put into buying renovating refinancing houses and definitely get you somewhere if you yeah. stick to it if you stick to it yeah so a lot the... of people i mean i did a call with a chap and he's three houses in over the course of two years now he's done a refinance on the first one and he's looking at the figures on the current mortgage rates and thinking, I think I'm just going to stop now because the mortgage rates are what they are. It's like, well, no, you set out with a sort of 10 year vision. Mm -hmm. You can't just give up because the mortgage rates are high now. They'll mm -hmm. drop later this year and it's a long term plan. You've got to stick at it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's something else I, I, I see a lot or well, from a lot of landlords without a plan. Most landlords without a plan, they will chop and change an idea mm. because some 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 hard thing got in the way yeah it wasn't particularly hard yeah and it was also quite um evident that it was going to happen mm. i mean interest rates rising from 0.1 percent wasn't a surprise no <laughs> or you know I've, I've, I've heard yeah. people say to me in the past oh the tenants uh moved out two months ago and we've had a couple of fall throughs since then um, yeah, re rent. So, it, should yeah. I just sell it? Should, yeah. What? what? No. What, what, yes. Fall throughs yeah. happen because a tenant fails referencing. That's actually quite a good thing because we, we didn't move in a bad it. tenant. We yeah. found out that they weren't going to be the right yeah. tenant and we'll get you the right one. And don't worry about a month void period on something you're going to own for 25 years yeah. or something. You know? it's so, just, when we're talking about yeah. getting a plan, having a goal, it's that kind of thing that if, if you see a landlord with a, with a goal, they would never say something like, Here's the exactly. little speed bump, shall I just yeah. sell it? It's like, this is just, this is something I'm going to do. I know it's not going to be perfect every day. Of course. I know everything's not going to go to the exact plan, but the plan is, um, it, it's like steering, steering, um, steering a boat, steering a plane, steer, steering anything a long way. You pick, you stick your, your point on the horizon <laughs> and you aim towards it. If you actually track your route, it's all over the place. Like they talk yeah. about um, the rocket going to the moon was off course 99% of the time. <laughs> Because it, it's always constantly correcting. Mm. You've got to keep going. It's not easy. But having that focus, knowing what you want to achieve. And one of the really nice things about building a property portfolio is it, it, if it's slow and steady and incremental, which it is, um, you do see the results. It gets quicker. 
it gets quicker, but you see the results as you go. As you're in five mm. years into a 10 year plan, you will see that you're about halfway. Actually, you might be slightly behind halfway at five years, the halfway Maybe. point, because it does speed up and, and, and you get that snowball effect that, that you know, Maybe you're buying one, one house a year in the first years, but you're buying two or three in the, in the later years. Yeah. So you can speed, it, speed things up. So yeah, um, I think have a plan, focus, test it, make sure it's realistic. And you've got to be able to say this is realistic, not I, I think it is, or mm. I don't really know, or there's a piece of this puzzle that I don't understand. Get educated, come from a place of knowledge, because that's what gives you confidence. You need to say, I'm going to do it's going to be quite a simple plan, hopefully. I'm going to do this, 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 rinse and repeat, this, 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 and I'm going to do that for 10 years and that will get me to this place. Check in regularly um, and have the confidence to, to carry through with it. So that's that's number one. Yep. Invest for a plan, invest with a plan, uh, with a goal and with focus. Shameless. Follow one course until success. Shameless sales pitch here. Go on, so that's unlike you. If you want to create a plan, talk to me. Um, <laughs> Lauren will be popping in the group chat, links to my calendar. Feel free to book a slot, a time that suits. And um, and yeah, talk to me. I'll make a plan for you and we'll help you build a portfolio. Number two. Yeah. Second point. Give us a like, follow, join the join the channel, join us, sign Everybody up on our, on our website, forthelandlords.com, to our mailing list, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like and all, all the social media platforms. And... Ring the bell, oh, yeah, ring likey, that. thumbs up, all those things. It really helps us. If you're getting value out of the channel, please subscribe and show your support. Indeed.